Ooh, welcome back as we continue our journey in Fallout Shelter to unlock the new Fallout TV series content. Uh, I have noted that some other creators have uh, just gone straight to the new quest line. Um, if I was to load one of my older vaults, I would have been able to access it immediately. However, what I want to show you guys is how long it's going to take you from starting a new vault. Because I do understand that a lot of you are going to be new players to Fallout Shelter. Now, one of the reasons I'm the number one creator for Fallout Shelter on YouTube is I have multiple series. Uh, the main one that I rebooted in 2023 is over a hundred episodes long. So if you do want to see strategy and everything else and how to build your vault, feel free to check out that series. Now another point as we drag this new dweller in that I want to highlight is after in my previous episode saying if you want to be in the vault just add your name as a comment. Uh, what I'm going to have to do is now put you into a potential viewer in the vault as a vault dweller list because I have got a lot of names. In fact I've got I think nearly more names than there are currently dwellers in this vault. Uh, so I think I may have to do some kind of lottery system uh, to work out who does and doesn't get into the vault. Uh, so I will be thinking on that uh, as we go forward. That will start after we get to the Vault 33 Fallout TV show questline, uh, as all that footage is already recorded now that we're back in. What you're going to have to do is focus on quests because what you need to do is get your dwellers leveled up so that they're of the appropriate level to be able to do these quests. Now at the moment we've only got two people of the correct level uh, to be able to go on the next quest. So again, this is time dependent, we need to level up our dwellers. Uh, so we've got 10, 7 and 5. Now Sam here needs to be level 6 uh, before we can go on a quest. We can use a rush and cross our fingers. Good, that was successful. Okay, if it had failed, it would have been an incident. We still would have got some extra XP. Uh, that's fine. Now we can later on use our guaranteed rush uh, to rush the room again. Uh, just to boost his experience points because that is the vault that he is currently residing in. Uh, the vault that he's currently residing in. The production room that he is currently residing in. Now we're just clearing some of these rocks. Uh, it costs a few caps to get rid of them. The further underground you go, the more caps it costs to get rid of the rocks. But we're just clearing space so that we can fully flesh out all of these floors of the vault. Uh, something else that we need to do is expand our storage. So let's uh, build an additional storage room. So that room is now three wide, which is the maximum for any room. So the width of any room is limited to three. And if you're doing a vault layout with two lift shafts, you can have a three uh, wide, a three wide, and a two wide. Now the order that you do it in is entirely up to you, but I tend to like to have the elevator shaft where it initially is, and then an other elevator shaft over to the far right hand side, which is for uh, instant management. But let's get back to the task at hand, which of course is managing our vault. Uh, so let's have a quick look at our objectives. Okay, collect five pieces of junk, kill five creatures. Let's get rid of that. Ooh, perform three critical hits for a nuke cola quantum. Nice. Okay, again, collect our resources. Oh, we've got a nice little boost of caps there. And uh, let's put on the bespoke attire, which is endurance plus four, and level up so we get as many hit points as possible. Also, as we move forwards, our dwellers will all become equipped with weapons as we go on more quests. Uh, we do actually go on a quest uh, later in this episode, which is about half an hour long. Uh, I am uh, basically adding as much content for you guys to these episodes as possible. I know you're waiting for the episodes to drop. Uh, and I do have a lot of forward footage to create episodes. Uh, but again, if you're looking for some uh, key strategies and tips, again, I have a 116 episode long series on Fallout Shelter. Do check it out on my channel. Okay, so again, there is a lot of this uh, waiting around uh, for stuff to happen at this early stage of your vault. But what we are going to do uh, potentially is put in a uh, radio studio on the top floor 
uh, a science lab on the opposite side uh, to where this little power room is and we will also expand our med bay and make it bigger oh mysterious stranger there he is okay so just claim and again this chap here is ready to level up so just both retire and level up which again i accidentally got rid of uh, after one of the quests uh, later on in the series uh, which i was a little bit annoyed at but again when you sell common items uh, it can uh, sell stuff that you don't actually want to sell when you don't pay attention uh, so again that's something else i will highlight when it happens and how to be careful not to lose potentially items that you need especially early in the game when your chances of getting rare or legendary endurance wear uh, are pretty slim. So we've now got two Vault 33 suits of course because uh, we managed to pick one up in a quest which was uh, pretty cool which was an unrelated to the TV series which means that the loot has been integrated into the whole game uh, so that also means potentially we may get, the, uh, get that ghoul pistol that everyone's looking for. I'm hoping, I still haven't got it, and that's in all the forward footage as well. Um, but having also watched the TV series, I can understand why people are wanting to get that item in Fallout Shelter. It would be very good to see its damage metrics as an example, and I presume it is a legendary gun. Uh, if it exists in the game, of course, that's the other thing. Right, let's switch you back to a fist and we'll give the lever action rifle down here because ideally you want to have a weapon in every room that you've got dwellers in just in case an incident happens. Okay, again, bespoke attire and level up. And onwards and forwards we go. Our happiness you will see at the top is at 89%. Uh, because we've got all of our dwellers in the right rooms by their special stats. And again, I will keep saying it, special stats are important. Uh, not just for the rooms that your dwellers are in. Uh, the biggest one, of course, as I've mentioned uh, many times already, and will continue to do so as the series progresses, is endurance. Because the higher a dweller's insur endurance, the more hit points they get when they level up. The highest possible being a dweller who has max endurance so endurance 10 plus a legendary heavy wasteland gear outfit which is e plus 7 which basically gives you endurance 17 when you level up and the difference between a level 1 dweller with endurance 1 to level goes to level 50 and a dweller that has endurance 17 that goes to level 50 is a large number of hit points um, i think it's over 700 hit points the overall difference oh it failed okay so we've got an incident and it's a fire okay well that's relatively easy to handle this is now a level two room uh, so you will note that the fire takes a little bit longer to put out uh, than it did when it was level one level one was fairly instant uh, whereas this one it is taking more than 10 seconds to put out the fire now again if you get mole rats rad roaches rad scorpions uh, in those rooms they will be more difficult to kill as well they will have a higher pool of hit points uh, to get rid of them. okay so again collecting our resources he is approaching that level up point uh, which is good because we do need that level 6 uh, dweller uh, to be able to send a full quest squad out into the wasteland because we want to continue doing quests. And from what I gather, just to give you a sneak peek of what unlocks the uh, Fallout TV series quest line, is having three dwellers that are above level 10. That is my guess um, because once I had my quest squad at that level, uh, the new Fallout TV series quest line appeared in my quest list. Uh, so I think that is the trigger, is to have three dwellers, uh, three decent weapons, and three dwellers above level 10. Of course, without digging into the code for the game, I can't confirm that 100%, uh, but I think that's logically the most likely reason that with a new vault the quest line doesn't unlock immediately because it has a minimum level requirement on the first quest of level 10. Okay, again, waiting for time to pass. We've got 33 seconds till the room is going to generate its resources. And again, he is going to level up slightly. 
and uh, then we will have a second play session of footage and we will get ourselves out on the next quest. And again showing you guys how to deal with that uh, and also when critical hits come up I will show you that as well because critical hits are based on perception so we're just expanding our med bay now to too wide uh, which increases our stim pack storage and makes the room bigger which means it now produces three stim packs instead of one uh, and again we're waiting for this chap to level up okay somebody else has leveled up there the guy wearing the uh, the robes so he's ready to go. He's currently wearing an elder robe, so we'll put him into uh, bespoke attire, put him back into his robe after leveling him up, so he gets more hit points, of course. Okay, again, Joyce here, ready to level up, so wasteland gear, up we go, back into your suit, and we carry on. Nope, that's not who I wanted to tick on. Oh, he's getting so close to level 6. Come on. Patience is a virtue, yes, but sometimes we just want stuff to happen straight away. <laughs> I do want to get the uh, the actual quest line that you guys are all waiting for into the episodes, but I do have a sneaking suspicion. I counted how many more uh, videos I've got uh, until I actually unlock it, and I think it's another four pieces of footage, or five, uh, so it's going to be another couple of episodes before we actually get onto that lovely new quest line. Mysterious Stranger! in the lift shaft. Okay, let's claim more by watching an advert. A thousand caps. Lovely. It's actually so nice playing uh, Fallout Shelter on mobile compared to Steam because Steam you don't get adverts, you don't get to boost the Mysterious Stranger, uh, you can't use an advert to skip. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, it is quite cool. Right, so we now skipped through to another play session and as you can see, uh, that's why everything went dark and then lit up again. And we've unlocked our another daily bonus, uh, which is higher than our previous day, because our happiness is better. And we're just going around and leveling everyone up and putting them back into their outfits. Now again, this uh, Samuel Brooks here, he's being a pain. He's still not leveling up. But let's watch an advert, see what we get. Oh, caps again. I'd rather a pet carrier, a lunchbox, or Nuka Cola Quantums, please. I'm alright for caps, I've got 5,000. Right, power station, 14 seconds until it is ready to generate us more power and level up his experience. So come on. Oh, the food's ready first. Our resource production, you will see, is also very good. Uh, we've got 20 dwellers at the moment, and our resources are all at max. So power, food, and water. Let's do a free rush. There we go. That was successful. Lovely. That's going to give another boost to his experience points. In fact, Olivia here is leveled up. Lovely. Back into your soldier uniform. And we've got somebody else leveled up here. Okay, again, back into your vault suit. And you level up some wasteland gear back into your advanced jumpsuit. And Dorothy here, wasteland gear, level up and back into your vault suit you go. But of course you're level 11 and you've got a trank gun. Okay, the hardened trank gun, not the bog standard trank gun. Okay, oh, he's so close, so close. Come on, level up, man, level up and we can get out on a quest. That's what we're here for, the vault development and the quests. Okay, oh, room on fire. Well, we'll leave that, because what we're going to do is we'll let it spread down to the power room, because it can't go to the vault door, so it will spread down, he says. There we go. Okay, fire spread, lovely stuff. And this will give him that final little XP boost he needs uh, to get up to level 6. And we can get out finally on another quest. Now normally as you do the quest you get enough experience points to actually level up to the next level. So you can go straight back out and do another quest. Uh, but at the beginning that doesn't always happen because they're obviously they're lower level quests. There we go. XP boost, come on. There we go. Now give me that little flashing arrow. Where's the arrow? Come on. Where's that little level up? I'm literally waiting for it to appear. Oh, come on, man. Seriously, you must have earned enough XP from that. 
Did you not? Clearly not, because there's no level up above your head. Oh, the disappointment is real. Seriously. Look, there we go. Somebody else needs to level up. Really? Okay. Well, ah, finally. It's there. I can see it. Aha. There we go. Finally. With smoke tire, level up. Back into the vault suit with you, sir. Oh, in fact, your fellow squad mate has also leveled up to level 8. Back into your soldier uniform, and here we go. Right, quest line going across. Uh, we have the path of Paula Plumpkin. Okay, so Dorothy, Jessica, and Samuel. And we're going to uh, assign some clothing to this chap, and this is where uh, I could have almost lost... Uh, the stuff, but I didn't. It's on a later quest. Now we want that hardened trank gun as well. Um, so the uh, 6 to 12 uh, damage, but the sawn off shotgun is the next most powerful weapon, but ours is an enhanced already, which is still good. Uh, so they're the best weapons we currently have. Let's hope we get some new ones. And we're going to take three radways as well. And of course, I'm going to use Nuka Cola Quantum, because who needs to wait to get to a quest? Personally, by the way, let me just clarify this, save your Nuka Cola Quantum. You'll want it later in the game. So although I use it for quests, uh, you guys that are watching this for help and everything else, wait for your team to arrive at the quest location. Don't use your Nuka Cola Quantum. You'll want to use them later on. Once you've got more than 50, uh, you can safely use them occasionally for quests, but you want to really keep more than 50, because later on you can use it to speed up weapon production, outfit production, uh, training. There are lots of different things that you can use your Nuka Cola Quantums for. Okay, we've got some shiny. Yay, another Nuka Cola Quantum. Fantastic. Okay, next room. Just some shiny, and it's a toy car. Ooh, lovely loot. Okay, down to the next floor. The only way is down on this quest, so uh, it's pretty obvious where we're going. We've got some more raiders to deal with. Let's get them killed. Okay, one dead. And that should be dead, dead, dead. Yes, it is. Okay, time to do some corpse harvesting. Mmm, caps. Another Nuka Cola Quantum. Oh, yes. Some more cabs and more. Now, of course, this is a low level quest, uh, so it's not going to be a huge amount of caps. Uh, now, the shiny you can click when your dwellers aren't in the room, uh, just so you know. Uh, corpses, on the other hand, have to be collected while your dwellers are in the room that the corpse is in. So, if you come across a room that only has shiny in it, you can actually move your dwellers onto the next room and still collect the shiny. Uh, however, if there is a corpse, you need to keep your dwellers in the room to collect the corpse. Okay, more raiders. Let's get killed. Dead. Dead, dead. And finally, come on. Dead, dead, dead. Okay. Corpse collection time. A scoped 4 4. Some caps. And some more caps. Okay, into the next room we go. What do we have? Just some shiny. Okay, well, we'll go and collect it. And over to the far side, and it's a weird layout, so we're going to go up, see what's in this room above. Probably nothing. Uh, normally, uh, there might be a shiny in there, or we might have some raiders. Let's see. Nope, it's a completely empty room with no shiny. Okay, so that was a waste of time. But still, if you can, and your dwellers aren't dying, and you've brought enough stim packs with you, when you go on a quest, you should always explore every room if you can. All the loot. Okay, dead dweller. Come on, let's get this one killed as well. There we go, dead dead. Now what's on your corpses? Okay, we've got a fistful of caps. And what's on the other corpse? Hmm, some cotton yarn. Okay, next room. A toy car. A couple of radaways. And some cabs. Okay, on we go to the next room. A single dweller. That's not a dweller, it's a raider. 
Some old nuke cola plant. Not that it matters. You ain't leaving here alive. Really? You're one individual raider, and there are three of us. So even though you got more health, you are going to die. Goodbye. And we get a lever action rifle. Ooh. Okay, I'm trying to click the shiny. Okay, let's take the corpse first. Okay, some more endurance wear. Common, so still E plus three. And let's go to that last piece of shiny. Ooh, two new Kogla Quantums, and we managed to get four total so far from the quest. Now, the quest at this point is complete, uh, and you could return to the vault. However, you would miss all of this additional stuff. So we've got a couple of rad roaches. These should be easy to kill. Yep, dead, dead. Come on, dead, dead, dead. Nice. Any corpses? Yes. A baseball glove. A radiation suit. And another toy car. Okay, on we go. Let's put the radiation suit on. There we go. It's a bit of a cooler outfit. And nothing in here, not even any shiny. Okay, next room, please. And we've got some raiders. At least we're guaranteed at least some caps. Okay, dead. And. Come on. Dead, dead. Okay. What's on the corpses? Okay, so we've got some cabs. We've got some raider armor. Nice. And some more cabs. Right, let's go to you and put on the raider armor. Perception 1, agility 2. And we've got one more floor to go before we finish this quest. Okay, oh, I was about to say just some shiny, but nope, we have red roaches. Let's get them dusted. Dead, dead. Dead, dead, dead. Any corpses? No. Two radaways. Lovely. Next room. Whole lot of nothing. Throw a lift shaft into the next room. And just some shiny. Oh, military fatigues. Lovely. Next room. Another toy car. And a tiny 3-2 pistol. That is uh, a complete waste of time. Okay, what we should do is check the health of our dwellers, and um, because we've got some extra stim packs, so yep, you need a uh, stim pack. You don't really, uh, and you could do with one. There we go. So we bought 12 with us, so let's use it and actually recover everyone's health and return to the vault. Okay, so a scope 4-4, enhanced lever action rifle, and a rusty 3-2. Okay, so we are back in the vault. Our guys are coming back from the quest. And what we will probably do is... Uh, how long is it going to take? Oh, it's only 14 minutes. Oh, let's use a new ghost one. Why not? They found four on the quest, after all. So we only used one there, one back, so that's still plus two. And we've collected our five pieces of junk. Lovely. Now, what we can do is put some military fatigues on. That's going to boost. You'll notice the time went down there for the production of the power. So the higher the uh, specials, including outfits, uh, for the people in the room. So as an example, water, if you've got perception 10 on your special stats and you're wearing a perception 7 outfit, the time it will take to produce the resources is significantly reduced. Right, so just handing out all of the weapons that we got from the quest and let's have a look at what we can do for our next quest. So that now needs level 7, so we can send them out on headshots, which is still level 6. So level 11, level 8 and level 6. Again, 12 stim packs and three radaways, and again, start the quest. Now, this time I'm not going to use three Nuka Cola Quantums, I am actually going to send them out on the quest, and uh, we'll come back to it when they've arrived at the location. All my patience has run out, and I use Nuka Cola Quantums just so I could speed my way along to the new quest line for you guys, which, to be honest, is what I'm doing. Now, having a quick look at happiness, we've got good old Zachary Warner here, uh, not particularly happy. So, let's drag, no, not you. Okay, what's going on here? Oh, and now we've got a raider attack. Okay, well, sorry, your plans for uh, getting you happy. Let's put them on, on hold for now. Okay, that was not who I dragged up there, but okay. What gun have you got? You've got a 10mm pistol. Okay, let's go to equipped and go to stats. 
Right, let's take off that sawn off shotgun. There we go. So we've now got a lever action rifle and a sawn off shotgun. Not as good, of course, as the Gatling gun and the hardened tranquilizer gun. So these guys are going to make it out of the vault door and into our vault, but they shouldn't get very far. Now again, always pay attention to your dwellers. There we go, one of the raiders is dead. Second one should die in a moment. You can see their health going down. Our dwellers, that is, not the raiders. Okay, there we go. So the raiders are now uh, going to the water treatment facility. So let's drag our guys back into the room. So you can move your dwellers around as an incident is going on uh, to keep your best weapons in the room. So there we go. Another one of the raiders is dead. The next one should die momentarily. There we go. So dead, dead, dead. All raiders are deceased. A rusty lever action rifle. Lovely. So four damage. And what we'll be able to do is give that to somebody that doesn't currently have a weapon. So let's click through. Let's give uh, these guys, maybe give them stim packs, maybe not. Uh, again, we could rush, but we've already used our automatic rush. Oh, Mysterious Stranger. There we go. Oh, 38 caps. Whoop, whoop. Party time. It's enough to buy a round of drinks. Not much else. <laughs> okay, again, going to inventory. Uh, we can have a look at what uh, outfits we've got and again placing uh, weapons into those who don't have any weapons because we just got a new lever action rifle of course. Just checking, so let's give her the rusty lever action rifle because it's better. Okay, you've got, a, uh, you've got nothing, so there we go. Now all of our weapons are allocated again and our vault is in a lovely position and that is it for this episode. Until next time, as always, all it leaves me to say is good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and from me, know it all gaming, good night, and see you on the next episode. But if you're not subscribed, why the hell not? Until next time, see you then. Yeah.